Today is Friday, January 3rd, 2020, and this might be the start of a vlog for a 29 gallon biocube that I just set up. This was a tank that I came across on Facebook Market. Really didn't have any intention of uh, buying another tank. I've been doing saltwater reef tanks since 2003. Uh, the last one that I had was a 120 gallon reef ready that I took down in July of 2018, uh, just before I moved. Um, I still have some of the components. I sold the tank, sold the rock. Actually, I have some uh, the Chinese black box LEDs. I've thought about retrofitting them into this, but you know, step back to the weekend before Christmas. Saw this tank listed on Facebook Market. My wife and daughter uh, have a small fish tank with uh, either guppies or mollies, I can never remember which ones. And <clears throat> previously I've had clowns, they always like the clowns. But this was listed <clears throat> for 50 bucks. And I thought, well, for $50, how can you go wrong, right? So this is what I got. I have a 29 gallon bio cube with the hood, with the stand. Uh, it's got an in tank, one of the acrylic in tank filters that I don't know if it's ever going to do more than hold filter floss. Uh, the person that sold it to me, it was set up, uh, had no fish in it, but had rock. And, you know, they claimed it was cycled. Uh, said that the lights needed to be replaced, so I got the tank, the stand, <clears throat> the in-tank filter. It's got a, a, a Jagger heater on it. And had two new Coral Life 36-watt actinic bulbs. You know, oh, excuse me, not actinic. I have the... A 110k daylight and 1420 actinic, uh, as well as a couple of power strips. These are the ones with the timers built in. Um, fish food. There's a refractometer, is mine. Um, some test kits. So, quite a steal for $50. And, you know, she said that, uh, you know, I was the first one to respond, but of course her inbox blew up because this is just a steal. Really, you know, there's a couple things wrong with it. Uh, you might be able to tell in this video. I'm using a pixel and it's got great pictures, but not the best uh, video quality. Uh, there are some scratches in the glass that, you know, it, it is what it is. For $50, you can't go wrong. And <clears throat> uh, when I got home and opened it up and went to replace the, the bulbs, there's no fans in the canopy or in the hood. So the fans weren't there. The power or the, the the circuit board that drove the fans was completely uh, corroded. So actually, what I've done is I've ordered some new fans off Amazon. You can get three three fans, not the actual bio cubes, uh, but three fans for eleven dollars off eBay. I bought a AC to twelve volt DC um, waterproof power supply for like six dollars. It'll be here in a couple days. This is not the LED version. This is the Oceanic. BioCube, so it's the original one. It's not uh, the Coral Life, which is updated and actually comes with LEDs. So uh, ha had rock in it. I had some dried rock that it was been sitting for about a year and a half. Actually, came from a different tank that I had. So in the tank right now, I've got three pieces of rock that came with it uh, to help seed it, and then all the rock that I and then the rest of the rock was for me. There's more rock outside. It's been sitting outside. I'm just letting it dry out, and then I'll get rid of it. So I set this tank up well, on Christmas Day, and here in Iowa it was like 58 degrees, so I uh, cleaned the whole tank with a vinegar water solution. Uh, it actually cleaned up well except for the scratches in the glass. And I took the rock that I had got with, that, that came with the tank, you know, I took it out, I sprayed it out with a high pressure garden hose. Uh, on the rock there was no algae, there didn't seem to be any critters, no worms came out of it, no copods, there was no um, sponges on it, so uh, while the rock may have had bacteria, I was comfortable putting it in the tank because it didn't seem to have anything attached to it. You know, I'm concerned with Aptasia, I'm concerned with, you know, uh, small starfish that eat corals. Uh, even in the, the buckets that are outside, there's nothing there, so I think the rock probably had some bacteria in it, uh, but otherwise was clean. So I started the tank on Thursday, the 26th of December with probably 
10 pounds of sand that was left in the tank from the original or the previous owner, which was thoroughly rinsed until the water was clear. Um, I'm using Instant Ocean at 1.026. And so I put that rock in. I put some rock that I previously had, that, as I mentioned earlier, that was dry. And then I bought a 20 or 22 pound bag of Carib Sea Areg Alive. So I've got 20 pounds of live sand in it, whatever bacteria is in the previous rock. And <clears throat> it's up and running. The, the lights aren't on without fans in it. I don't leave the lights on for more than about 10 or 15 minutes because I don't want to overheat the bulbs. I tested the water New Year's Day, it's a couple days ago, and the ammonia was at two. I did a five gallon water change. I tested it again this morning, two days later. The ammonia is at one, and I'll test it this Sunday and see where the ammonia is at. Obviously, with the with the uh, the nitrogen cycle, I expect the ammonia to spike, which it did because of the die off. The ammonia should start to come back down, and then I should see nitrates and then ultimately nitrates or nitrites there is on the top rock what appears to be you know a light green algae growing on it which isn't out of the ordinary um, I think it's a little early in the stage of the cycling that I'm at I mean I know I'll get green algae later after some cyanobacteria after the tank cycles a little bit but there's nothing in it it's just you know the the leftover rock possibly some live rock in the live sand. Uh, the goal for the tank is a couple of clowns, I don't know, two or four, uh, maybe a dotty back, um, maybe, and then some sort of goby, I don't know if I'm gonna do a watchman. <clears throat> and then I'm probably only gonna do softies in here. Some mushrooms, which, you know, many mushrooms can get large and overgrow the tank. Uh, I love zoanthids. So I'll find myself some Zoe somewhere. Um, I'm not going to do any GSP because they can over, overgrow the tank. Uh, I've done SPS for years. Uh, in this tank, I'm not going to run a skimmer. The in-tank filter isn't really a trickle filter, so really what it looks like to me is it would hold maybe some Chato and I could put some live, additional live rock in it, but really filter floss uh, at the top of it. I'm not going to run a skimmer, so my goal in this tank is going to be low maintenance. I'm not planning on retrofitting the LEDs. Who knows? I've got them. I mean, I could retrofit LEDs. I could have SPS in here, but I don't really think I want to do that. Um, and it's just going to be a simple five-gallon water change once a week, clean the filter, or excuse me, replace the filter with floss once a week, and uh, go with it. So I'm going to keep the stock lights may or may not change them out to different power compacts in the future so that's kind of where i'm at i've got another video that i'll put up when i started to, to pull the canopy apart initially i thought i could get the fans uh, the, the circuit board that was for the fans is actually really simple it's just a dc um full full bridge rectifier it's basically got a cap and four diodes on it so i had actually re purchased replacement diodes but the board was too far gone it's too corroded I couldn't solder to anything. And then uh, Oceanic puts a transformer in it. Uh, it actually looks pretty dangerous in there. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's cheap. I'm sure they've probably got 2 or $3 total invested in the power supply for the fans. But so that's where I'm at. The tank's been running for eight days. Eight days old, a little bit of green algae. Uh, pretty mellow at this point. That thermometer, I'm not going to keep it in there. Actually, I was just trying to set up the original, the, the Jagger filter. Um, once I get everything stabilized and know that the, the temperature is correct, I will move it somewhere. It doesn't float, so I'll probably just put it behind the rock work. So there's a the 100 watt fil um, heater. There is this end tank which. I run the water level higher than what they recommend, as I think most people do, but this is not a trickle filler. Uh, I've run bio bottles in the past. I have no problem running bio bottles. They are, you know, some people think they're nitrate factories, which if you don't clean them, they are. But the way this is set up, I'm looking at putting floss in the top. I may or may not put more live rock in the bottom of it, but, you know, any type of trickle filter, whether it's any media that you get for bio, 
for organism. Uh, it's designed to not be submerged, so I don't know. I've got live rock. You know, there's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds of live rock in there, which should be sufficient to create the filter. And then if I just keep up on the maintenance. So that's it. Any questions, comments below? Any thoughts? But I'm sure that anybody that does tanks would agree that for $50, this is absolutely a steal and certainly worth setting up. So, like I said, this might be the start of a vlog. I'll see. I've got some pictures. It used to be on Reef Central, but Reef Central, for the nano cubes, it seems that the uh, participation has dry, died off significantly. So, I'm on actually Nano Reef Forum, which is new. So that's uh, probably where I'll put some of these videos. Thank you.